get to the Long Island shows here. Um, you know, I'm getting ready to do this special. And um, I had uh, Vinnie Mark open it for me. We were having a great time talking about the old days. And he just was really just such a fucking nice guy to me. Like, as I was telling you when I first, uh, when I first started out. And, um, but he knows all, like, the Long Island stand-up history because he was a part of it. And he was saying right down the street, and I always heard about this place, was the East Side Comedy Club. And um, this was this place out in, uh, out in Long Island where, like, fucking everybody got their start. Um, Eddie Murphy, Ray Romano, Kevin James, Rosie O'Donnell, Paul Reiser, Jim Carrey. This guy, this guy, Richie Miner... Oh, I'm going to say his fucking name wrong. I can't read. Minervini? Um... Oh, fuck. Where's, where's the article? This is the wrong goddamn article here. All right, I'll just read you this article. It says, Richie Minervini should have worked for NASA because he helped launch the careers of so many big-name New York comics. And it's the ones I just mentioned, right? And uh, Eddie Murphy, Ray Romano, Kevin James, Rosie O'Donnell, Paul Reiser, Jim Carrey, uh, director Judd Apatow. A lot of people didn't know when he started to do stand-up again, but he did that before... You know, he did stand-up initially before he did The 40-Year-Old Virgin, Knocked Up and all those huge movies. And now he's back to doing stand-up while also making all these great movies. So anyways, all of their comedy bones, made their comedy bones in the 1980s and 90s in Huntington, Long Island at the legendary East Side Comedy Club, which closed in 1995. Um, Richie said, I was in real estate in 1979, but I wanted to be a comedian. Uh, a top comic who plays all the A-list casinos and works the cruise ship circuit. That was pretty much as high up as anybody got back then. Um, he goes, I got sick of driving into the city trying to get on stage at the improv or catch a rising star, so I found this restaurant in Huntington and made it into a comedy club. Jackie Mason headlined his grand opening. Jackie asked how I was going to pay him ten grand, his ten grand fee with an $8 cover for 135 seats. Richie said, I have no idea what I was doing. Uh, so I said, I don't know. And then Jackie was cool and said he told me to pay him next year, which I did. Uh, his first regular night of stand-up. Listen to this. His first fucking show we ever booked at this club. This is how legendary Eastside Comedy Club was. This was the show. Eddie Murphy. Right there. Over. Legendary show. Jerry Seinfeld. Jackie the Joke Man Martling. Paul Reiser. Rob Bartlett, Bob Nelson, and himself. Each person did eight minutes, and he said, I never dreamed that most of those guys would go on to become uh, big-time superstars. Uh, and then he had all these great stories. He said, vividly remembers Eddie Murphy's shoes. He said, just before he went on stage, Eddie would take a brand-new pair of shoes out of the box, wear them on stage. It was a different pair every night. Finally, I found out he worked in a shoe store, and he'd put them back on the shelf the next day. How fucking hilarious is that? He said Ray Romano would go on stage wearing a snazzy blazer. Blazer. He'd take it off, hang it on the chair. So he would just walk out wearing it. He'd hang it on the chair. He'd do his act, then carry his jacket off stage. And then you'd see the price tag on the inside. Ray'd return it the next day for a refund. <laughs> um, this guy, Rick, he, to, he told, uh, Richie told Jerry Seinfeld that he was hilarious, but he needed to be more dirty. And Jerry was like, yeah, but then when I do the Tonight Show, I'll have to clean it up and it'll, it'll hurt my timing. And he said, Richie just smirked and said, sure, Jerry, sure. Like, like you know, you're actually going to get on the Tonight Show, which, of course, he did. Um, then he just had a bunch of kind things to say about Kevin James and all those guys saying they haven't changed at all. But... Um, What's his face? Took me down the street and showed me like the location where the first thing was. And I'm like, so I'm such a fucking nerd for the past, you know, especially if it's something that I'm into. 